Today morning, the RBI Monetary Policy Committee announced the RBI Monetary Policy. Uh, we thought of bringing to you certain key highlights of the policy. One major highlight is the repo rate remaining unchanged at 4% and the reverse repo rate at 3.35%. Now, for those of you who are not aware of what repo rate and uh, reverse repo rate means, re repo rate refers to the rate at which RBI lends monies, money to banks. A low repo rate means funds will be available to bank at a cheaper rate who in turn can lend it to its customers by passing on the rate reduction. A reverse repo rate on the other hand is a rate at which RBI borrows monies, money from banks. Now, the RBI in the past, due to the pandemic situation, had reduced the repo rate twice in May 2020. No change in this rate reduction is an accommodative stance of the monetary policy to make sure that the economic growth is revived. The COVID-19 impact on the economy is mitigated and this will also ensure that inflation remains within the target going forward. With Unlock 3.0, many areas have started businesses while some states are still under lockdown. Businesses are picking up. Uh, the agricultural sector seems good due to the good southwest monsoons and with facilities opening up in industry sector, th this is also supposed to improve. A lot of liquidity has been infused in the economy in the past through rate cuts, uh, open market purchase by RBI to help bring down the cost for NBFCs and non-NBFC sectors. The spread for three years AAA rated bonds have also reduced from 276 basis points in March to 50 basis points in July. Same is the case with AA rated bonds and even the lower investment grades like a B minus. When we talk about inflation, inflation uh, stays high, uh, says the RBI governor. Um, he says that the domestic uh, food inflation has remained elevated across economies uh, 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 ever since the corona pandemic uh, outbreak. He further adds saying that the agricultural sector prospects may improve with good monsoons and the rise in kharif uh, sowing area. The MPC projected uh, retail inflation uh, to remain elevated in quarter two. However, he adds that a more favorable food inflation outlook might emerge on good farm produce. With the pandemic still on the rise, RBI recognized the need for continued support to the MSME, crub inflation, stabilize economic growth and infuse a liquidity in the economy. With this, the MPC looks at the following additional measures. The first one, resolution framework for COVID-19 related stress. The RBI announced providing a window under the Prudential Framework to enable the lenders to implement a resolution plan in respect of eligible corporate exposure without a change in ownership and personal loans while classifying such exposure as standard, subject to specific conditions. The framework shall not be available for exposure to financial sector entities as well as central and state governments, local bodies or any other body corporate established by any act of parliament or state legislature. Now only those borrowers shall be eligible for the resolution under this framework who have been classified as standard and are not in default for more than 30 days with any lending institution as on 1st March 2020. The accounts should continue to remain standard till the date of invocation. The resolution plan may be invoked anytime till 31st of December and shall be implemented within 180 days uh, from the date of invocation, says RBI. Lenders shall have to keep additional provision of 10% on the post-resolution debt. The RBI is constituting an expert committee on the chairmanship of KVK, Kamath, which uh, shall make recommendations to RBI on the required financial parameters. The next one is loan restructuring for MSME. RBI does recognize the need for continuous support to MSME uh, and thus provides uh, has already provided certain restructuring in the past. For MSME borrowers facing stress on account of economic fallout of the pandemic, lending institutions may restructure the debt under the existing framework provided the borrower's account was classified as standard with the lender as on 1st March. 2020. This restructuring shall be implemented by 31st March 2021. The next one he talks about is loan against gold ornaments and jewelry. So RBI has now increased the permissible LTV that is loan to value for loans 
uh, which can be pledged against gold ornaments and jewelry for non agricultural purposes from 75% to 90% so now your ltv is not 75% it is 90% this relaxation shall be available until 31st march 2021 the next he talks about is additional uh, special liquidity facility that is aslf for uh, nhb and nabard so rbi says that it will provide additional standing liquidity facility of rupees 5000 crores to nhb over and above the 10000 crore already provided for supporting housing finance companies the facility will be available for one year and will be charged at the rbi repo rate similarly rbi will provide additional spe uh, special liquidity facility of rupees 5000 crore to nabard for a period of one year at the rbi repo rate uh, rbi policy repo rate for refinancing nbfcs mfis and other small nbfcs of asset size of rupees 500 crore and less to support agricultural and allied activities and rural non farming sector The next is the priority sector lending guidelines with a view to align the guidelines with emerging national priorities and bringing sharper focus on inclusive development the priority sector lending guidelines have been reviewed an incentive framework is now being put in place for banks to address regional disparities in the flow of priority sector so uh, the regional disparity that is higher weightage and lower weightage will be segregated so with higher weightage will be aligned to incremental priority sector credit in identified districts having lower uh, credit flow and a lower weightage will be assigned to identified districts with a uh, where the credit flow is uh, cre credit flow is higher uh, then priority sector lending status will also be given to startups and the limit of uh, renewable energy including solar power and compressed biogas plants are also going to be increased um the policy also talks about creation of an innovation hub areas such as cyber security data analytics delivery platform uh, payment services remain always have remained in the forefront and now innovation uh, has to be brought about in the financial sector that's what rbi says RBI says that they will put in a, an innovation hub in India to promote innovation across the financial sector by leveraging on technology and creating an environment that would facilitate and foster innovation. The innovation uh, hub will act as a center of ideation and incubation of new capabilities which can be leveraged to create innovative and viable financial products or services. to help achieve wider objectives of deepening financial inclusion effective banking services business continuity in times of emergency strengthening consumer protection and so on the innovation hub will support promote and handhold cross thinking spanning regulatory remit uh, remittances and nation across national boundaries there are few other measures uh, we'll just try to list them down one is the online dispute resolution for digital payments so rbi mentions that there will be an online digital resolution it says that with a number of digital transactions increasing significantly also the grievances and disputes have increased thus the central bank will require a payment system operator to introduce online dispute resolution in a system in a phased manner this is to bring about uh, quick resolutions to start with the uh payment system operators shall require to implement the online dispute resolution system for failed transaction in their respective system then gradually over experience gained uh, the online uh, dispute resolution system arrangements will be extended to other disputes and grievances as well rbi will issue the instructions later during the day the next is the scheme of offline retail payment using cards and mobile devices RBI proposes to allow a pilot scheme for small value payments in offline mode with a built-in feature for safeguarding the interest of users liability protection etc again the central bank will uh, given the details instructions shortly based on experienced gained the rollout of the scheme will be announced in due course the next is to enhance uh, safety of check payments it is decided to introduce a mechanism of positive pay for all checks of value rupees 50000 and above this will cover approximately 20% and 80% of the total value by volume and value respectively 
so operational guidelines again will be issued short shortly uh, we've just uh, tried in this video to summarize the key highlights uh, of the rbi policy issued today by the rbi governor hope you like this video and it was informational if you find it informational do give it a thumbs up uh, share it with your uh, with your friends around and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such knowledge sharing uh, content thank you